everyone. Um, so I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. I'm here with Dave from Conquer Trailers North America. I've been drooling over these trailers for years and now they're available in North America. Why don't you tell us how you got started and then we'll start talking about this rig behind us. Sounds good. Yeah. So about two years ago, um, I'm an engineer by profession uh -huh. and my, my kids and I, we started designing our own trailer. And one day we went out to the garage and we were working on it. And my eight-year-old son comes out there and says, Dad, I'm gonna be in college by the time you're done with that. I said, shut up, you know? <laughs> And so, you know, it got me thinking. I thought, I thought, you know, this will take me a long time. So I composed an email. I knew I'd done a, a lot of research who I thought was the best in the industry and who would do well in the US. So I wrote an email and I, I, I said, Conquer, I asked Conquer, you know, I'll do all the engineering for you to meet all the regulations. I'll do all the paperwork if you let me have the distribution for the US. And I, that, that night I told my wife, I'm like, I'm gonna quit my job as a powertrain engineer and do this if they respond. And she's like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> and um, next, next morning I opened up my email and they said, okay, We'll, we'll, have, we'll let you have the distribution if you if you do all the regulations and all the engineering for it. So right, that's right how it started. timing. Perfect timing. Right here you've got an expanding market in North yep. America and they're probably ready to come over. They are. I, mean, I feel like the overland market is, is it really, it's in the infancy right now yes. and it's ready to mushroom. Mm -hmm. so, well, that is, that's awesome. That's yeah. a great story. Yeah. And now you've been uh, in business for how long? So our first trailers uh, arrived last September. And in fact, this trailer right here is one of the first ones that we got, and uh, it's a customer trailer. Um, we've been selling them since then. We've been traveling all over the U.S., selling them at different shows, um, doing really well, um, and they're very well received. If I had a dollar for everybody that said, I've seen your trailers on YouTube or on Facebook, I would be a rich man. <laughs> yeah. Well, now they're going to see it even more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Okay, um, why don't you tell us what model this is and then we can walk through it in whatever way you want to show it to okay. us and mention some of the features of the trailer. Okay, yeah, this is a UEV 440 Extreme. It's uh, one model below our flagship model. Um, the, the neat features about this is that you have your, your built-in shower over here. It folds up and really small and tucks behind uh, the spare tire there. You have your dual jerry cans. This guy actually option, option to have an air conditioner on this trailer. Um, it can sleep four people. Honestly, I've had me and six of my kids in here before, and we pack them in here. They're, they're four tiny. Four people are going to be comfortable in four here. Four people, four big people will be yeah. comfortable in here. Yeah. But little kids, you can stuff them in compartments and stuff like that. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> the overheads. <laughs> yeah, that's right. With, with the blanket. That's right, that's right. Um, it's a rear entry, so um, these steps actually just fold up here. The door folds down, and then your spare tire comes around. And that's how you can get in and out of it. Really nice that the steps are self-supporting, everything yep. is self-supporting. Yep. And then hydraulic assist on everything too to help you get, get it up and down. Mm -hmm. um, walking inside, I don't know if we'll be able to get any good footage on it, but um, there's enough storage on the left-hand side here to get three full-size suitcases in there, in case you want to put suitcases in here. You have access to the pantry from the inside, so when you're locked up at night, you can still get to your food and things like that. Um, also a big area in the middle here that if you want to strap um, your porta potty or whatever things down there. Um, we give you uh, some tie down straps there, so it won't be it won't be flying around. So this, um, even when you fold everything in, this is still usable as storage space. Yeah. That's great. Yep, you can get yep. up in there, and then this bed that's right here is actually a couch. Even if you have the bed folded in from the side, you can still sit here and, and have a couch area, and likewise on the front area there too. I see some luxury items in here. I see TVs, I see flat screens, I see uh, stereo equipment and fans. There is, there are a lot of upgrades that we offer. You know, like like you mentioned, we have TV, radios, fans, air conditioning. Mm -hmm. um, what else? You can Bluetooth into the radio, and you can take your phone calls from there. You can actually log into the trailer through a Wi-Fi connection, and you can control everything from your smartphone when you're in your car. You can see your battery status. You can see. You can turn on our positive pressure cabin system that yep. keeps all the dust out when you're going down the road, all from your smartphone or laptop. Wow. All right, now, Dave, you just mentioned something. You, you mentioned the positive pressure um, system. Uh, can you control that from your app as well? Yeah, so if you're going down a dusty road and you yep. don't want to get out and suck all that dust up mm -hmm. um, out of your vehicle, you can turn that um, on just from the app that we have. So if you go from concrete to dusty, to road, dusty road, beep, Positive pressure, Ready no dust is getting inside. Yep. That is exactly. 
freaking amazing. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else we should talk about uh, on the inside before we start talking about the outside? Um, Interior-wise, we've added a lot of features for just connectivity, so you can plug in your phones in different places or laptops and charge them. Um, we have a 1,000 watt pure sign inverter, so you can plug in your, your sensitive camera work or any, any of that stuff and it won't, it won't damage the electronics. Um, what else do we do inside? Um, surround sound is amazing in here. <laughs> Believe it or not, like, I don't know if it's by dumb luck or whatever, but the, the speakers where yeah. they're, they're placed, it sounds amazing inside. Awesome. That's great. So the kitchen is pretty much set on the driver's side, yep, on the of, driver's side. of the trailer. Yeah. Um, run us through it. Storage and what we've Storage, got yeah. There. The 440 yeah. kitchen is this massive pantry area. So this trailer is actually a customer trailer. They brought um, a husband, wife, and their two little kids. And they have, and you'll probably see in the, in the videos, you'll see uh, all their food in there. It's accessible from inside and outside. Um, it comes with a 90 liter fridge freezer, National Luna or Snowmaster. We do either one of them. Um, in the drawers below the, the stove, there's a two burner stove there, Dometic stove. You'll see that it comes fully kitted out with all your cutlery, crockery, with all your um, glassware, your plates, your bowls, and that comes standard in the trailer. Um, you can set up that kitchen and be eating lunch in less than five minutes, and you're ready to go. Um, I, I love that kitchen because it's, it's just so much storage area for food and for pots and pans and everything like that. Is there any storage on the outside of the rig that, that is not accessible from the inside? Yes. About exterior storage? Yeah, so up in the front on the passenger front side, um, if you open up one of the doors there, you'll see that there's four Wolfpack storage areas there. So Wolfpacks are actually ammo cans from South Africa. Mm -hmm. And you can take those out and they're stackable, super durable, and you can put all your stuff in there. What's nice, you can bring those inside your house, put all your stuff in it, bring it right back out and slide it right in the, in the camper. Got it, great. Um, water, how much water can we take with us? There's 42 gallons on the belly here. We have dual water tanks. Um, you can, uh, there's a 12 volt pump that will pump it to the shower in the rear of the trailer and also up to the sink in the kitchen, hot and cold water. And then if all else fails, if your pump fails or anything else, there is a gravity fed spigot at the front of the trailer and you can get your water out from there. Okay. Hot water? Well. Hot water as well. You have on demand hot water. We use a propane system for that. Mm -hmm. What about your propane? Um, you can do either uh, the 11 pound seal or 10 pound aluminum or the regular barbecue 20 pound tanks and we can do dual of each one of those. Yeah. Now, you got to tell me about the suspension. So in something like this, I want to know how it tracks and what it can go over. I go on a lot of trails. What's, yep. What are the limitations? Tell us a little bit about it. Well, so the suspension has been designed by Conquer in South Africa over time. Um, they've been in business for almost 30 years and you look at the suspension, you're like, holy cow, that is way overkill. And I've even asked that, why did you guys do this? I said, well, we kept on breaking it. Yeah. And so it's a full independent trailer arm suspension. We have a coil and a shock there, and then a limiting strap. And in front of our shop in Ohio, where we, where we distribute the trailers out of there, we have pretty rough railroad tracks. And so when we do all the shakedown on the trailers, we'll go over those railroad tracks, and I'm constantly looking behind me, because I think I lost the trailer because it's so silent. It just glides right over the tracks. Wow. And every day I get calls from the customer like, we can't believe how easy this thing tows. Like legally I can't tell you you can tow it with a Jeep because it's over the tow rating this model is of a Jeep. But I have many customers that have Jeeps and they do just fine. Mm -hmm. And it's it, it tows like a dream, it goes, it glides over everything. You can, if, if your vehicle can get over it, unless you're rock crawling, Yes. But if your vehicle can get over it, then you'll be just fine. It will go wherever you want to go. Can you tell me about a little bit about the limitation? Um, we don't do much rock crawling, yep. but sometimes to get to a spot, there might be a couple of gatekeepers that right. you know a two-wheel drive vehicle can't go over. What are the what are the limitations? Would you say? Well, how we have the suspension configured um, in between the suspension, it's 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 heavy duty enough that you can drag it over rocks and you're not going to hurt it. Okay. You can literally like dra drag that, that the trailing arm over the, the rocks. In the middle, there's about 18 inches of clearance, mm -hmm. and you have about 14 inches of travel. Oh. So you can well, that's really you can good. Go through almost everything. Yeah, 14 yeah. inches of travel and 18 yeah. inches of clearance. That's good. Yeah, all, all the Conquer models have been in almost every country in Africa, and they've been proven. In fact, we recently they went on a 3,500 mile trip. Um, Mitsubishi sponsored it. Mm -hmm. Partway through the trip, Mitsubishi had to replace the vehicles because all the, the vehicles were failing, but the trailers were just fine. <laughs> so we, awesome. we feel confident that our trailers yeah. will be able to go through almost everything. Great. Yeah. All right. Dave, thank you so much for well, your time. You. I know it's a busy show. Yep. Uh, I've, I've wanted to see one of these in person for a really long I time. I appreciate you guys so. coming out. It's been yeah. great meeting you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Right. Thank you, Dave. Thank you.